Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Acme Markets. My name is Dan Kirchie. I'm the president of Acme, and uh, joining me today, we have Representative Steve Berard to my left and Senator Tom Killian to my right. And what a great watershed year it's been here for the folks in the state of Pennsylvania, spe specifically all of us in the retail sector. Um, in the last several months, the state has made the decision to uh, give us the opportunity to sell wine in our stores. And we're standing here in our Conquerville location at Acme today to, to, to announce that we're so proud to provide that offering to our customers day in and day out moving forward. Our assortment is so strong, um, being able to install wine into our store with over 300 varieties. And again, being able to delight our customers with the items that they demand day in and day out has been just a great change in law and policy for the state in the last several months, and we're very, very excited to capitalize on that. A few things about what's happening at Acme. You know, we do have currently eight stores in the state of Pennsylvania that currently sell beer, and by the end of October, they'll all be selling wine. And then we'll have two more locations by the end of November joining in on that program to support wine and beer sales, both in Paoli and Ridley. So as we move forward in expanding our offerings, I wanted to thank the two gentlemen and the state for their great partnership in being able to build this offering for us here in our Acme markets, hometown Philly, and of course throughout the states of Pennsylvania. And um, we're most grateful for uh, the expanded offerings for our customers as we move forward. So at this time, what I'd like to do is um, have the pleasure of, of introducing Senator Tom Killian, who's been intricate in helping us get us to this point. And Senator, I'm sure you have a lot of things to say to the group. So thank you. Thanks, Dan. First of all, I'm pleased to be here uh, first because this is the Acme that my wife and I shop at because we live here right, in, right here in Glen Mills. Dan mentioned that we were, we were able to do this over the last several months. It was a little longer than that. Um, I know I've been working on liquor privatization as a member of the House with Representative Barrar and now in the Senate since 2003. Uh, the House passed a full privatization bill that came to the Senate. It was amended in the Senate because sometimes in government you have to take half a loaf. And we took half a loaf and we got... We're finally moving Pennsylvania out of the dark ages when it comes to liquor sales. And you can see behind me now, here you can get wine and beer right here in your Acme. So one-stop shop, if you come out to buy a steak, if you want to get a bottle of red wine, it's here. I think we have more to do when it comes to li uh, liquor privatization, but this is a great start. And it was great to work with uh, Representative Barrar in the House as we move this over the finish line just this June 30th as we finish the budget. So with that, I'll introduce my good friend, State Representative Steve Barrar. Great. Thank you, Tom. I remember uh, when I first met the governor, the governor asked me to tell him something about my legislative district. And I said to him, I said, you know, you can go to any liquor store in the state of Delaware and find Pennsylvanians complaining about their property taxes. You know, how many of us, every time we have company come to our house, they say to us, why is it so difficult to buy a bottle of wine in the state of Pennsylvania? Well, if you go back about 83 years ago, Governor Pinchon, who created the um, state store system, who was also a, a, a Quaker and was opposed to drinking, Governor Pinchon wanted to make it as hard as possible for people of the Commonwealth to buy to buy alcohol, um, alcohol beverages. Well, he was very successful in that. And finally this year, this legislature is taking a step in a different direction with the help of our governor who signed into law a bill that will now allow us at supermarkets to sell wine. We have beer out here. And I just think this is, for, from a consumer point of view, this is probably one of the, the greatest steps that we've seen for consumers going forward. You know, it, it's a nice thing, like Tom said, when you can walk in, I will buy the spare ribs, he can buy the steak, because I can't afford steak. But, um, <laughs> but I, you know, to pick up a bottle of wine, pick up a case of beer, and be able to go home and entertain your family is, is a big thing. It, this really is the first step into a full privatized system. If this is successful, I think we're, we're, we're going to see a lot more initiatives moving forward that, that allow us to bring even greater choices to, to the consumers of Pennsylvania. Thank you. Good? All good? Okay. Thanks. Good. 